All right, everyone, welcome back. And we're going to start a new unit. And we're going to look at uh, geometry a little bit more. And we're going to look at measurement a little bit more. But um, we're going to deal mostly with po something called polygons. And polygons um, just means different shapes. And poly is a Greek, I think it's a Greek Latin kind of root, it means ma many. So we're looking at different many shapes. And we're going to sort them and look at their attribute. So the first thing we do is we're going to look at sorting and just looking at these four different shapes, what sorting rules can you use to sort these shapes? And I'm not talking like rules like you're going to go to jail or you're going to go to the penalty box, but what what things are you looking for to know how to put them together that, that, so that they're the same or different? What kind of sorting rules can you make up? So we can do a few things here when we're looking at some shapes and we're going we're gonna to look you know, focus on triangles today actually. And we can use a ruler to measure the side lengths of a, sh of a triangle. We can do that, we have the ability. And we learned in the last unit, we can use a protractor to measure the angles in a triangle. And we can use something called a mirror or we can fold a triangle so that we can find symmetry. And if you don't remember what a mirror looks like, that's one there, so you kind of get a mirror image. Uh, reflect it on one side and you can kind of draw the other side and mirror sounds like mirror so symmetry remember if you draw a line down the middle of something it should look the same on both sides so we can use these attributes to sort triangles I know it says angles there I'm sorry so the first one we're gonna do is called an equilateral triangle and it has three equal sides and we use something called hatch marks to show that they're equal. And it doesn't matter what I do, so I could do possibly this. That means I don't need to measure all three. I just know that, you know, if I measure one, I know that it's true that both the other two angles will be also equal. Or I could, maybe I don't like one single line, maybe I like two lines, and I can do those two hatch marks. So that, that tells me that, you know, I'm looking for matching pairs of lines, basically. Or maybe that's not good enough for you. Maybe, maybe you want three. I don't know. As long as they're matching hatch marks. Traditionally, I think though that we tr we traditionally see um, a single one on equilateral triangles. So I'm just going to go back to that. Okay, that indicates that they're equal sides. Now, equilateral triangles also have three equal angles and three lines of symmetry. And we learned before that the sum of the angles in a triangle equals 180 degrees. And if I divide that by three angles, I'm going to get 60 degrees in each angle. So equilateral triangles is a fact that they all have 60 degree angles. And we, we use matching arcs to show equal angles. So I would go like this to show, hey, those are equal. Maybe I would do two sometimes when you have multiple angles in you know in, in uh, polygons you might do two to show uh, I'm not sure um, and again usually one is suffice but you never know now lines of symmetry I can draw a line straight down here and I have the same image on both sides I could also go this way and I also have the same on both sides I can also go this way. That's not very straight dots, but you know what I mean. Okay, same on both sides. How about a different triangle? This is called an isosceles triangle. Isosceles, it just rolls off the tongue, you know? And isosceles triangles have a few things that we know about them. They have two equal sides, and I'll draw some hatch marks to show that. Two equal sides, that means those two are equal, but the bottom side is not equal, so I just leave it. It also has two equal angles, and those are always the bottom two. So I'm gonna say that those are two, and this guy here is not an equal angle. And it also has one line of symmetry, and I can draw that only down the middle here, okay? I can't go the other way because it will not be the same on both sides. So that's an isosceles triangle. Have fun spelling that one too. Uh, lastly, we have something called a scalene triangle. It has no equal sides. And when I grew up, I thought scalene 
scaly, sounded like an ugly snake or something. I just called this the ugly triangle. Nothing's nothing's equal. No equal angles, no equal sides. You can't do anything symmet symmetrical with it. It's just that scalene triangle. So just if it doesn't, if nothing's working out, it's a scalene triangle. And <laughs> there you go. Uh, there is one more tri type of triangle, and it's called a right triangle, um, but we're not going to deal with it today. We're going to deal with it in the next lesson, because it's more has to do with more with angles. And in fact, when you get to, I think, grade 7 or 8, you're going to have a lot of fun with something called Pythagorean, Pythagorean Theorem, and, I, and you're going to be using a lot of algebra with that, but that's that's something to look forward to. Okay, let's let's something you try this. So I have six ang uh, six triangles here. I want you to classify them. What type of triangle are, are they, and how? And be prepared to say, how do you know? So the first one, A, has three equal sides. We can tell that by the hatch mark, so that must mean it's an equal lateral triangle. Okay. B, I have only two hatch marks that are the same, that are matching. The other one does not, so that is my isosceles. Okay. C. I don't really see anything going on. That's got to be a uh, scalene. If we go to D, again, I don't see any hatch marks. I don't see any angles that are showing me that they're the same. It's got to be a scalene. Uh, e. I, have <coughs> I drew some lines in there, and that is showing me that there's three lines of symmetry. Three lines of symmetry. It's got to be an equilateral triangle. And lastly, um, I'm not showing any hatch marks, but I do have two angles at the bottom, I guess in, the, in this case the top, away from the, the top point. Um, and I'm saying that they're they're opposite of this point here. Um, they're indicated the same by the way they're drawn, so it's got to be an isosceles triangle. So we're just looking at triangles, what they look like and what attributes we know about them and we're using those those attributes to classify them as an equilateral an isosceles or a scalene and next lesson we'll talk about right angles but so there's four triangles we can really talk about and sort there you go take care guys yeah.